Hi everyone, today we see us for a new video and it's gonna be really quick, it's just gonna be about some new minifigs that I got uh, some days ago. Uh, literally, I found an announcement on Facebook Marketplace or was a new group of Lego uh, in Facebook. Anyway, uh, yeah, someone commented me about some minifigs of Lego that uh, he was uh, owning, a guy commented me, and uh, when I analyzed the picture a bit in detail, I saw some really great minifigs uh, with a certain value uh, in his collection and he told me that they were at $5 each so yeah uh, it was sounding really uh, amazing uh, and yeah uh, the fact that it was true uh, all those minifigs were original lego so I got four of them uh, in of his collection because we are certainly the four rarest one of his collection he had a lot of bunch of stormtroopers clones but I already was I was already owning them so there was no any point to, to buy more of them so yeah I just bought four minifigs but for $5 each and I'm going to show you which one they are, but they are just really amazing and I really couldn't believe it. This was a great deal and that's why sometimes I'm really happy about Facebook Marketplace or Facebook groups of Lego because you can find uh, amazing deals on it. So here we go, let's take a look at this minifix. So here we have our four minifix uh, that I bought uh, some days ago from a seller on Facebook and yes, uh, I'm just really happy to get them because they were just at $5 each. I mean, already $5 for a minifig is certainly almost, almost the cheapest price that you can get. Uh, most of them are like at minimum $5, a little bit less sometimes, maybe three, four, depends on uh, which one it is, if it's a basic uh, battle droid or basic look uh, in his farm boy outfit, but yeah, most of them are minimum at five dollars, and when you get rare minifigs like Leia, Ula, Cat Bane, or even Kid Fisto, a bit less rare but still uh, difficult to find for just five dollars, I mean you can't just uh, be mad. Uh, their condition is really excellent. Maybe Kid Fisto just have some uh, use, uh, some minor details on top of his headpiece. is a bit dirty and a bit old. Uh, except this, uh, Cat Bane just have a little mark on his face, but really, really minor. Uh, and yeah, otherwise they are really in perfect condition and this was also amazing because sometimes they can be cheap because of their condition but this uh, was not the case. So we have here Leia in her slave outfit, uh, a minifig from 2013, the Java, uh, Java's Berge uh, is a set that is really valuable right now for the minifig of Leia, for the minifig of Max Rebo also. So yeah, there's a lot of bunch of great minifigs in the set, but one of the other two. Uh, and uh, 2013, a lot of time passed uh, since uh, this minifig was made and let's be honest, we, now, we are not really sure if LEGO will release a new Leia or a similar Leia minifig in her slave outfit because there's a lot of uh, controversy around this minifig, around the outfit, around uh, whatever thing like this. Uh, so let's be honest, difficult to imagine that LEGO will take the risk uh, to make a minifig like this in 2022, 2023. 2024, whatever, but yeah, uh, the chance to get a new layer like this are really, uh, really low. And the same for Ola. Uh, it's a minifig that comes from the Java's Palace of 2012, yes, if I'm not wrong, so 10 years ago already. And for a minifig of 2012, this looks really great. Uh, if you check a little bit the printing quality, the like, shining uh, details you can see here, the kind of necklace, uh, kind of chain, yes, the chain. Uh, because she's like a thing still of Java, I'm not sure. Uh, but this is, uh, yeah, I, I don't know to be honest with you, but yes, it looks like a chain. Uh, the air piece of Twi'lek is really well done. There's a second, I'm gonna show you, uh, scary, scared face. Uh, yes, if you can see it like this. So, yes, yeah, scared face. But I prefer the smiling one, it's more accurate, certainly, to the uh, character. And this is a background character. Sorry, I'm trying to put the uh, head piece on top of the head, like this. Uh, and yeah, this is a background character that costs a lot of money because uh, she's worth like around uh, $40, $40 dollars, I think, the minimum. So yeah, this is a really a background character that I, uh, yeah, you had to pay a lot to get it as a Lego uh, version. Uh, the same for yeah, she, she worth like around $50, dollars, a little bit more, I think $60, $70 maybe. But, and certainly it will increase with the years. Uh, so yeah, this is a really nice, nice minifig, also a nice details shining as well as you can see, a gold, some gold details on the air piece. It's really an incredible uh, molded piece, this one. Uh, so yeah, I, I really like those two minifigs and I'm really happy to get in my collection here. We have a, an OG Cat Bane, original Cat Bane from Clone Wars. Uh, this is a Cat Bane that appears in uh, two sets, the Cat Bane Speeder and the Clone Turbo Tank, but 
as far as I see right now with this value, it's still an iconic minifig because it's the only one or the, there's another one of, of Cat Bane of Clone Wars version, but this is really the most popular one of Clone Wars and his hat is really large compared to the Bad Batch version that we got uh, this year. The piece for the tubes uh, is kind of different, but yeah, the printing is really simple. There's no even printing in his back, not on the legs too, but yeah, this is a really nice minifig and right now in the second market, you're getting it for uh, between 30 35 dollars a little bit more uh, and here we have kit fisto so as i said it you can see it's a little bit damaged uh, a little bit dirty uh, so yeah this is the problem with the kind of headpiece like this in soft plastic that lego was doing and that lego is still doing uh, is that you really need to keep it in a safe place uh, and don't put anything on it don't put dirt on it because otherwise it's gonna be difficult uh, to clean it and this kit fisto is uh, a really nice minifig i got it i had it uh, to be honest one year ago but i sold it and now i own it again uh it's a minifig that is pretty old also because uh it's the last time that we we saw a kit fisto in a lego set was from the palpatine arrest set from 2012 so yeah definitely those minifigs could uh, have a remake in the years coming the cat bane we had a bad batch version so i don't think that we will see a new cat bane in the years to come but uh, the other three could have a remake, could have a new version, but let's be honest, uh, these two, it's almost impossible. Huh? Uh, we're gonna be honest with each other right now. And the Kid Fisto, it's probable, but we know that Lego prefer to make sets about uh, the original trilogy, for example. And yeah, uh, I don't know when we could get a Kid Fisto set, uh, set or whatever, Starfighter or other things like this, because I feel that Lego uh, passed the Clone Wars era and uh, they are really focused on the Mandalorian, the new series, and all the Disney shows. So. Let's be honest, Kid Fisto as a new minifig, uh, it's not gonna happen uh, really soon. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. We're gonna see us uh, certainly, so in some days I will go to an event of a uh, uh, person that sells uh, minifigures of Lego, figures of Black Series, whatever, uh, in a market uh, during the weekend. So I will go and I will see what I can try to pay, to, to find and to buy. And, and if there's some great things that I got, I will make a video about it. So stay tuned on the channel, don't forget to like, to subscribe, uh, and we see us for a new video really soon. Bye bye.